Hi, hello guys. Um, in today's video, we will be looking at interchanging fractions, decimals, and percentages. I know it's been quite a bit of time since I made my last video, but yeah, since my exams are over, yeah, we're having more videos now. So basically, fractions, decimals, and percentages. Let's start. Firstly, what does it mean to be a fraction, a decimal, a percentage, and how does each one look like? A fraction, basically, to put it in a very non-mathematical term, a fraction looks like that. It's like a number over something else. So the top number is our numerator, and the bottom number is our denominator. Two important terms. So that is our fraction. And then we have a decimal, which is something like 0 0.5. And a percentage, like would you, you could see in your exams, 90%, let's say 95%. Wow, it's a high mark. So these are three different types of random. There's one random fraction, random decimal, random percentage. In case you don't know how it looks like. All this is, each of this is a different form of representing data. So, and we can easily interchange between these three forms of data. So, basically, decimal 0 0.5 also equals to 5 over 10. And it's also 50%. You want to see how this happens? To convert from here to here, since there's only one decimal place, it's 5 over 10, which is there, as we can see. And from here to here, 5 over 10, since the percentage has to be out of 100. So we multiply 10 up and down to make it over 100. 50 over 100 equals 50%. That is how we interchange. So basically, when we look, 0 0.5 is also equal to 5 over 10, which is also equal to 50%. So all this, all these three pieces of data show the same information, but in different forms. One is a decimal, one is a fraction, one is a percentage. Next, let's try a different example. Uh, a bit more complex this time. Let's try 0 0.75. 0 0.75 is also 75 over 100. As you can see, when you interchange a des uh, between a decimal to a fraction, we see how many decimal places there are. Since there are two over here, then it's a hundred. If there's only one decimal place, it's a ten. Since there are two decimal places, we have a hundred. So seventy-five is over a hundred. Two decimal places. Also, as a percentage, because anything over a hundred, over a hundred becomes a percentage, because cent percentage. The cent in that tells us it's over 100, and over here it is over 100, so that gives us 75%. So 0 0.75 is also equal to 75 over 100, which is also equal to 75%. Now, let's look at specifically converting between um, a decimal to a fraction. 0 0.225, let's convert this to a fraction, okay, to start off. Since there are three decimal places, first step, count how many decimal places there are. Since there are three decimal places over here, we already know the number is over a thousand. So, 225 over a thousand. You do the match and simplify this. Yep, let's simplify it. And the simplified version is 9 over 40. So, to recap, to convert a fraction to a decimal, I mean, sorry, a decimal, to a fraction, first step is to count how many decimal places there are. If there are three decimal places, we know the number is over a thousand. If there are two decimal places, we know the number is over a hundred. If there's only one decimal place, we know that the number is over a ten. Because only one decimal place, only one zero in the answer, which is a ten. So that is basically converting a decimal to a fraction. Now let's look at a fraction to a percentage. Let's say a friend gave me 2 over 5 
and some random guy told me to convert this to a percentage. This might look silly because this is not over 100. And yeah, how am I going to just convert it to a percentage like that? It's not even over 100. So the simple step is we have to make it over 100 somehow. So 5 times what makes 100? 5 times 20 makes 100. So we have 100 down there. And since we multiply times 20 in the denominator, we multiply it times 20 in the numerator. So 2 times 20 gives us 40. And since 40 is over 100, it automatically becomes a percentage. Just remember this at all times. Any value over 100 becomes that value percent. So 40 over 100 is a 40 percent. A 50 over 100 is a 50 percent. A 65.999 over 100 is actually equals a 69.999 percent. So anything over 100 gives you that percent. Okay, so make it over. Let's say in case we have a fraction that does not have a denominator which is divisible by, let's say by 100. Let's like we don't have a denominator that's divisible by 100. So we can't actually change the denominator to 100. Let's say we have something like 2 over 9 and they tell us to convert it to a, a percentage. This is even more ridiculous. We can't even change the scenario. At these points of time, to convert to a percentage, we just multiply the fraction by 100. So any fraction, one way is to make the denominator 100 by using the multiply up and down method. Or you just multiply the whole fraction by 100. So, multiply by 100, simple math, 200 over 9, which is equal to 22.2 recurring decimal. You know what recurring decimal means? Is that's like, in, instead of me writing an answer that says 22.2222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222222
In case you don't know what a decimal place is, it's how many values that come after the decimal, to put it in non-mathematical terms. So now since it's over 100 already, it's 95%. Why do I keep getting 95, huh? Okay, fine. 0 0.62, it's two decimal places, over 100, 62, over 100, that equals 62%. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned how to interchange between decimals, fractions, and percentages, how they look like, yeah, and basically how to move them around, play around with them, and what's equal to what. But before I end this video, I'm just going to show you some basic fractions, decimals, and percentages you must know by heart. You don't need to like memorize it hardcore, but it's just good to know by heart because this will come in handy. 0.5 is always equal to 1 over 2, which is always equal to 50%, okay? 0.25 is always, always equal to 1 over 4, which is equal to 25%. And 0.75 is always equal to 3 over 4, which is equal to 75%, okay? So these are some just a few main ones that you need to remember. A 0 0.5, which is basically a half, 0 0.25, which is a quarter, and 0 0.75, which is three quarters. 0 0.5 is 50%, 0 0.25 is 25%, as you can see, two decimal places. 0 0.75 is 75%. So these are just some basic fractions, decimals, and percentages. They are links that you must know. It's good to know it by heart because it makes it easy in the exam where you don't need to like do it one by one step by step. Just it just lock it all inside and yeah. Thank you for watching this video. I am going to end it. Please visit my website mathsbookgeeks.wordpress.com for more video tutorials and maths tips. Thank you.